from our AFN Pacific headquarters in Seoul, this is Around the Peninsula. I'm Specialist Tyler Ferris. Everyone knows about the enemies that are at our front door, but what about the ones you can't see? Specialist James Muir found an airman at Kunsan Air Base that fights against these hidden enemies. Senior Airman Gregory Ward Jr. has an important job protecting the Air Force from an unseen enemy. This enemy tries to attack you from cyberspace. Ward explains what we can do to minimize this threat. Uh, the average person can just be vigilant. Be like, just think about before you respond to that email, before you open this email that looks suspicious, or before you answer this question, when you pick up the phone, uh, just ask yourself, does this person have a need to know? While we know cyber threats are at our doorstep in the States, people must remain vigilant in an overseas location as well. In Korea or in other overseas locations, you might be initially caught off guard or, or just excited about being in a new environment, a new place, that you become less aware because you're overseas. And it's the natural wear and tear of being away from home and things of that nature might make you vulnerable to not be as on guard or not be as vigilant as you normally would. Remaining vigilant is important because of the dangers that lurk around every corner. We put planes in the air. If we were to put a schedule out of what planes are flying in the air, what, what pilots, that automatically should, would throw up a red flag to someone else to say, well, this, these are the capabilities that they have, first of all. Uh, these are the hours of operations that they have. These are the personnel. And any of those things can be compromised at any point if we don't consistently protect those things. Remember that although you can't see your enemy, that doesn't mean they aren't there. Cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. Specialist James Muir, Kunsan Air Base, Korea. For more information on cybersecurity and how to protect yourselves, contact your OPSEC manager. Bad weather often spoils even the best plans. Army Sergeant Junius Stone introduces us to one unit that won't let Mother Nature spoil their day. Elements from Mother Nature, like rain, won't stop these artillery soldiers from 1st Battalion, 15th Field Artillery Regiment from training at Rodriguez Live Fire Complex. Despite the mud and the misery, they continue to do the job of flinging steel downrange. The environment is challenging, but a soldier like Private James Pruitt keeps his mind on mission during a live flight. It's, it's been a rough week. The rain, flooding, the mud, Op 4, sea uh, burn, uh, all the rounds we've been getting more than usual, which is good. The training's intense, with noise on the ground, in the air, and thick armored hides surrounding Pruitt and his fellow cannoneers. But no matter how messy things get, Pruitt focuses on the job. I've done a lot of inside the gun, but most of the time I'm the driver. I, I keep it uh, taken care of, keep it running. It's through focus and determination that soldiers like Private Pruitt help maintain the steady reign of steel. Army Sergeant Junie Stone, Rodriguez Live Fire Complex, Korea. The 115 Field Artillery Battalion provides indirect fire support for the maneuver elements of the 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team. Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated September 15th through October 15th, but it almost didn't happen at Kunsan Air Base. Air Force Sergeant Chris Bevins introduces us to the airman that helped preserve history. Meet. That's Sergeant Fair. He's the 8th Security Forces Squadron in CYC of electronic surveillance. These tools will be able to help us catch the bad guys. As a Security Forces Airman, he's used to keeping the base safe, but it's his love for his culture that saved the day. Uh, Hispanic Heritage Month is important to celebrate like every other month that we have that will recognize a uh, different background of the people that represent the Air Force. But if it wasn't for Frere, Kuntan may not have had a chance to recognize Hispanics due to the high ops tempo and logistical issues. But because of his love for his culture, he made sure there was a celebration. We figured better late than never. <laughs> We're able to bring everyone together for the same cause to honor Hispanic Heritage Month. So we just pulled all our volunteers together and got everyone passionate to pull it off. Thankfully, Kunsan Airmen and soldiers got the celebration they were hoping for. We started off the night, we got all the cooks to bring the food in. We had the authentic Hispanic food, everything from chicken to rice, 
beans, um, carne, and we were able to go ahead and cook it and share it for everyone to enjoy. And then we had the games, dancing, and a bunch of laughter and fun for the evening. It was a very good time, and my favorite part was just seeing everyone come together and enjoy the culture that we provide to the Wolfpack and just having a great time overall. Thanks to Staff Sergeant Frere and his group of volunteers, Hispanic Heritage Recognition Month was a success. Air Force Staff Sergeant Chris Bevins, Kunsan Air Base, Korea. For more information on Hispanic Heritage Month, visit hispanicheritagemonth.gov. Maybe creating a written work of art with a blank sheet of paper and pen intimidates you. How about creating something with just the paper? Army Sergeant Tamara Thompson discovers how an old art form can help you unlock the artist inside. Since its creation, people have discovered many ways to put paper to use. Camp Carroll ACS offers a cultural experience called Hanji to help service members and their families discover not only another type of art, but culture as well. Hanji is a really special type of paper. So you can, there is no waste paper, no throwaway paper. You can redo make it if you have a mistake. When you're creating Hanji, you have a wide variety of options. The only thing limiting you is your imagination. Today we're doing these little um, plate trays with the Hanji rice paper. Mine's beautiful. Here, this is not mine, but it's beautiful. <laughs> The Hanji class also offers a way to break from the usual and get out and meet new people, which can make learning this art form a lot more fun. When they come in here, they don't know anything about the Korea. So we just try to teach them the culture. So what they, they can relocation is easier. I think it's good to learn about Korean culture. So if you come to the craft classes here, you're doing Korean crafts, and it's good to learn about the culture. Get involved with Korean culture. Army Sergeant Tamara Thompson, Camp Carroll, Korea. The paper used to make hanji comes from the mulberry tree. How many times do you catch yourself singing along to a song while you're in your car? Maybe you daydream of touring the world, singing to thousands of screaming fans. Army Sergeant Stephen Donaldson introduces us to a soldier who's getting a little closer to the dream on Camp Casey. It's the final round of the Area 1 Operation Rising Star competition, and over 100 soldiers and family members fill the Camp Casey Gateway Club. But for some, being in front of crowds is a breeze. Everyone in my family sang in church growing up. When we were small children, we'd travel around with our grandparents and sing. Uh, I have a cousin that sings in Florida right now, and that's how he makes his living. If you grew up in my family, you sing or play an instrument or both. This isn't the first Operation Rising Star competition for Chief Washington. He competed at Fort Hood, Texas and came in fourth place. I'm going to be focusing on remembering my words, uh, trying to make sure that I hit every note because you don't want to forget the words or crack a note while you're on stage. Once you get started, there's no stopping. The show must go on. This father of three says his unit couldn't believe to hear the news that he's competing, but his family knew better. I think that my wife and kids would have been more surprised if I didn't do it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I worked their nerves walking around the house singing all the time. So it's an opportunity for me to uh, uh, let off a little bit of energy, uh, a little bit of steam, and not have to be in their ears at home. A veteran of war and the stage, it's clear to see he's at ease in front of the crowd. Just enjoy singing, so it was an opportunity to get up in front of people. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to win or not, but I'm going to have a good time. Army Sergeant Stephen Donaldson, Camp Casey, Korea. Operation Rising Star is an Army-wide competition in its eighth season. That's it for this edition of Around the Peninsula. For more information on what's going on around Korea, tune in to AFN The Eagle or Thunder AM or log on to AFNPacific.net. From Seoul, I'm Army Private Tyler Ferris. Happy Halloween.